Hey guys, so I decided that I am going to film a um, official entrance to my vlogs. And I actually like doing these because I like to remember like a lot of things. I like to like save memories and so filming these kind of, although I don't really do anything special, um, it just helps me remind myself like to look at these in the future. I told you guys in the vlog before that I was going to include like an exclusive clip. Um, so the one for the past month is, um, what's it called? What's in my shower? This month's special video is a DIY ring hanger thing. It's not so much an efficient way to store your rings, but it's more like a cute way to display your rings. So all you're going to need is one of these sponge wedges. And I painted, obviously, the bottom part of the wedge. You could design it however you want to match whatever room or whatever, wherever you want to put it. And you're going to just, you know, squish the top so that you could fit your ring through it. So there's that. It just sits like that. I think it's super beautiful. I love this. It just sits really beautifully on like a counter or, you know, it's a really cute piece of decoration too. So if you don't like wearing rings, maybe you could buy rings for this purpose. Is this not adorable? They look so nice. You could also use like smaller rings. You know, it has a different feel to it, but I definitely like how the bigger ring looks better. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so it's Monday morning. I'm going to school. I did my hair like this last night, technically. If you can see, there's a little bit of wave in each strand. It's it's just, I love it. My hair never, normally when I do this, it never turns out this good. I'm in love with how my hair looks like this. It's just a very natural look that's not natural. Um, my hair is completely straight naturally, so it's so hard to do anything to it. I am so excited because I just finished my 1,000 piece puzzle that I started with my brother, but I he gave up like halfway through. Because we already did this once and we took it apart like a long time ago. It's a thousand piece puzzle and it's called Riverside Picnic. So here's the big picture. So here is the finished look. Yeah, it's on a yoga mat. It looks like one of those puzzle saver things, but it's just my yoga mat. And it's just, it's it's great. It looks great. I'm going to go out and get some puzzle glue. I do want to get more puzzles because I really like working on puzzles. And I got this at a yard sale for a buck, so you really can't beat that. Yeah, I just feel so accomplished. I can't wait to like go get some puzzle glue and glue it together and then just hang it up. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so now I'm at Target. I just saw these L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. And I've heard so much about them. But I don't think I'm going to get them today just because... I'm here to mainly get stuff for the lady that was telling about you earlier, telling you about earlier. You know where the makeup remover is. Maybe I should take my jacket off. It's kind of getting warm in here. Why are the Sonia Cashew brushes so expensive? They're like 10 bucks each. That's really expensive for me. Oh, oh my god. Guys, I've heard about this color so much. Can you see it? It's the Revlon color. The Scandalous. Oh, I need nail polish remover too. Crap, I forgot. Oh, something's on sale. Let's see. 504. That is too expensive. I swear these were only like three bucks before. How is the Neutrogena one cheaper? Well, this is smaller, I think. This is five bucks too. It's like 490 something. Okay, that's ridiculous. I swear the up and up ones were like three bucks. And I they don't even carry the Sally Hansen. What's it called? Um nail polish remover anymore. That is so weird. See, now the only kind of nail polish they remover they have is the Up and Up brand. I don't want the Up and Up brand. I want the Sally Hansen one. I mean, I don't know if they will work just as well. I am gonna go to Macy's after Target, in case you're wondering. And this guy just walked by. He's kind of cute. I'm gonna go get some shampoo. And then I'm going to the dental aisle to get some um, toothbrush and toothpaste. I don't know what kind she prefers, but um. I just like Pantene more. Ooh, something's on sale here. I don't know, like, because she's not, she's an older lady, so I don't know that she would like the scent as much. Ooh, I really want to try out the Organics one. They're not on sale, and they're kind of expensive. They're eight bucks, and I don't want to spend eight bucks just on shampoo. Oh no, they don't even have the shampoo. They only have the conditioner. Flat irons. I think this is, no, these are the, okay, can you see? Okay, well, this is not the one I have. I have the Chi... I don't know what it's called, but it was like... The Chi Ultra... Yeah, it's the Ultra Chi. That's what it's called. I don't know where the hand sanitizer is. Shouldn't they have that in here? Ooh, 
I don't see any hand sanitizer here. I'm in the travel aisle. I don't know what these random brands are. I kind of just want to get... Oh my god, they have Dr. Broner's Magic Soap. I didn't know they sold this in stores. This is like the best soap ever. You have to try the Dr. Broner's Magic Soaps. I'm done with everything. I got everything. I'm here waiting for my ride in the clothing aisle. Just browsing. Ooh, that's a cute dress. Anyway, so I just had a pack of fruit snacks. I already paid for them. Don't worry. I got animal crackers i got a pack of strawberry ones and then i got a pack of mixed fruit ones which, and then i got um a water bottle i'm so proud of myself guys you have no idea i didn't buy anything from the makeup aisle today at target besides the makeup remover because i actually needed that so i'm gonna go and i will see you guys when i get home on my camera bye hey guys so i'm filming a grocery haul first thing i got i got some tissue things whatever um and then I got these mini rice snacks. I've had the Quakers one. So got caramel, uh, sour cream and onion. I gotta vacuum my floor because there's hair everywhere. And then I got chocolate. And then, oh my god, these look so good. The honey wheat braided twists. So I got those. And then I got this huge pack of giant the lemon cookies. And I love lemon cookies. And this was only like $2.50. I am really excited. Well, I got sesame. That's not really that exciting. But I like to eat that with my eggs. So I got this power bar. I had one and they were so good. I already ate one on the car home and I had the vanilla almonds one. The chocolate dipped coconut. Sounds delicious. Blueberry bliss. White chocolate macadamia. And s'mores. I got Ritz. This is the roasted vegetables. I've never had these. And I tend to like stuff like that. So it's got some. And then I got my mouthwash. And it doesn't have that ingredient that um, attracts, uh, what's it called? stains because the crest complete health or whatever it's called i've been using that one i have used that one i stopped like over a year ago i think and it like stained my teeth so i looked it up and it turns out a lot of people had the problem so got these light and fit yogurt and this is the, my favorite kind i got them in strawberry vanilla and also raspberry and blueberry acai or whatever it's called the other kind of berry um but yeah these are only 80 calories they're not um, made out of the hormone-free milk, so that's really sad, because the Chobani yogurts are. But um, this is my favorite kind, it's just so good. See y'all later, bye. Hey guys, so I am at my house and my friend's here, <laughs> Grace is here. That's it, all right, bye. Say bye. bye. <laughs> bye. I was reading this um, article on Yahoo about the Titanic, and if you watch my video talking about the movie, um, you've probably caught on that I'm a little obsessed with it, but um, I just read, I don't know if this is true, but it said that the last remaining survivor of, t of the Titanic died in 2009. And she was only nine weeks old when she was on the ship. And that's, like, I'm the kind of person that really thinks into things and just, like, I was just thinking how, like, everyone that was on that ship died. Like, the survivors, like, no one on this earth now has any information like I, I don't know it's just I was just thinking into it and I was thinking about the band that played until the ship sank sank and it's just I don't know I was just I don't know apparently there's a movie called saved from the Titanic that was actually made like 29 days after the ship sank or something like that and it was lost, it was destroyed in a fire, and I just think that's so sad. The person in the movie was actually a survivor from the Titanic, and she actually wore the same, like, clothing and everything, so you don't have that now. I just think it's so tragic. I just think it's a great, like, it's a great part of history, and I'm not even, like, someone that's really into history. And it's crazy, because some people don't know that the Titanic was like the ship actually sank. I don't even know what I'm feeling right now, but I'm really, really like, I don't know. I don't know what this video is gonna be about. It's called the 100th anniversary of the, of the Titanic. 10 things you didn't know. So that's what it's called if you wanna look for it. So. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to ask a really quick question that's just really important. So I collaged my wall, one of the walls in my room with masking tape and it's, the whole wall is covered so it's not like just like a poster on there so like the whole wall is covered but I was just wondering if it could actually be bad for the wall and damaging if 
um, if I leave it on there, like, as a permanent kind of thing. Because I don't plan on taking it off anytime soon. But, um, I don't know. Because I heard painter's tape is the only ta tape that's safe for the, um, walls. But I don't know if masking tape is okay. So, this app, Oldify, is, like, top of I, I mean, the app chart right now. I just downloaded it. Me and my brothers just downloaded it yesterday. You want to see how ugly I look when I'm, I'm old? It's crazy. Like, I, I'm so, I was so scared. And my brothers... They like took pictures making faces and stuff, and it was so funny. The picture that comes with the app, she doesn't even look old. They just added like slight wrinkles to her face. That's not what they do to you if you take a picture of yourself. I don't know if I should show you guys. I get scared when I look at it. Oh god. It does something to my lips, like it thins out my upper lips. Oh, you guys peek. I don't want to show you guys the whole thing. It's so bad. Is that not scary? I look like a freaking witch. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, Titanic, I'm like obsessed. Still have the footage from my trip to China last summer, and I actually have a hotel room tour, and you guys, oh my god, the hotel we stayed at was so amazing, like, oh my god, the room was amazing, and the pool was amazing, the beach was amazing, I just have to upload it. <laughs> It's been like, what, almost a year, like nine months or something, and I still haven't uploaded. Yeah, peace, bye. <laughs> okay, so here's an update on my puzzle. I finished it and glued it, and I didn't. If you watch my Target haul, that puzzle glue actually does not work at all. Um, there were quite bad reviews online, but I just bought it because I was at Target. I definitely don't recommend it. What I ended up doing is just using, like, Staples glue. Just make sure the glue dries out clear, but I've heard just plain Elmer's school glue works just fine, so you could get those. The only disadvantage is that the surface isn't as smooth as when I, like, use the puzzle glue. Um, but it, it's just... It's a great glue. It glues everything together. I glue the front. Here is the back. There's newspaper bits on the back because I um, glued it with the newspaper under it so I didn't get on my carpet. But um, I taped the back so that it's more secure and it's just a lot more sturdy this way. If you're wondering how I hung it up, I used these clips and just clipped them on. Just find some hangers with these two hooks over here and just hang them on there and find a space in the wall. Literally, these clips are amazing at everything. This is how I hang stuff up. I just put this clip, clip it to whatever it is that I need to hang up, and then I just put a thumbtack on the wall and put that through the thumbtack. So it's literally amazing and it looks great. I like it here. This is just very cheap, very fast. I just painted my nails and I wanted to show you guys the color. It looks like it's the same color. Well, it's a little better now. It's a little bit lighter than this. It's like a baby pink. Let me show you the bottle. It's like a light Barbie pink. This is in Soulmate. And I also painted my toes. All right, Target haul. I'm really excited. Just got some food. I got two boxes of Luna bars because they're cheaper in box form. Because when I get them separately, they're $1.25 a bar. I got the chocolate dipped coconut. These are so good. Oh my god. And then um, nuts over chocolate, which these two will probably be my favorite. They're not super low calorie, as you can see, but they really fill you up. And they're probably better than having like cake or just pure chocolate. Black socks, because I wanted to try the sock bun. These are just from acceleration these were 150 so there's that i got some skittles got some mike and ike i got sour patch watermelon oh i got apples too i'm gonna bring some of those on my trip with me so yeah see you later okay so this just came in the mail and oh my god it's just so nicely packaged and i just really want to show you guys don't freak out i did not just buy another coach for it's for myself um, this is actually for my cousin and she is going to pay me back for it. So I just wanted to show you guys because the packaging is so beautiful. Alrighty, so now I'm going to open this. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I don't want to rip this paper and this like beautiful gold sticker. They should make like non-paper ripping stickers. Coach. Oh my god, look at the inside. This is going to be amazing box. The color is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I just opened it and here is what the bag looks like. It has that button and this is the other side and it says coach right there. And then it has a shoulder strap 
and a handle strap. Hey guys, so what I am having a really important moment and I am having my first soda of the year 2012 and I've stopped drinking soda on a regular basis since March 2010. At the beginning of 2012, if you watch my New Year's resolutions, I'm, I said to just completely cut out soda and I honestly, I don't think if you have a soda once in like four months like I did, today's April 18th, just so you know, um, it's not gonna be, I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, it, it's just the thought that, oh, I broke my promise that really guessed to me because I really wanted to not have soda for the whole entire year. I don't like soda all that much anymore, like I'm not as tempted. But this morning there was a can in my kitchen I was just staring at it and I was like, should I have it? And I decided that I would have it. I drink my first soda of the year on April 18th. Hey guys. Hey guys, so I got home from my trip um, yesterday, last night at like 2 o'clock in the morning, so... Now it's 8. I woke up early today. I'm surprised. I wanted to show you guys the stuck. Just got a little one. Cost me five bucks, but I figured it's something to remember my trip there. And it's just so cute. Look at its eyes. It's so adorable. And the trip was super fun. I vlogged, I want to say a lot, but I feel like I didn't vlog that much. Um, The last day we went to an amusement park. Oh, that's where I got this, by the way. The last day I didn't vlog at all because... You know, it's an amusement park, and I, I just, I didn't even carry my iPad with me because there were water rides, I didn't want to get everything wet. Alright, bye guys. Tell me what I should name him or her. I think it should be a him. I don't know, I just love it so much! Bye! I don't know why he's nodding, but okay, bye. Hey guys, I've been so busy because after my trip, sorry, I have to rest my arm on the stand because I don't have any strength, but... <laughs> It's been really hectic and I've been doing a lot of stuff. I'm actually really excited because I found some great new music to put in my videos. I'm gonna go brush my teeth so I will see you guys later. Grocery haul! This one's kind of boring. I got coke because you're doing something for school and I signed up to bring some coke in. Naked, I heard Kate, Hello Katie XO talk about this so I bought one to try. Um, and then I got one box of Luna Bar this time and I got the vanilla almond kind. I got some tape. It says photo safe. I don't know what that means. Like, does it mean when you take a picture of it, this won't show? Or, like, I, I have no idea what that means. Um, and then I got toothpaste. I actually got two boxes. 3D white advanced thing. And plus, they had this free sample thing. Here's downstairs, I bought some um, strawberry ice cream. I got bread. I got lunch meat. I got lettuce. I got yogurt. And I got soy milk. I hope you guys enjoyed this month's vlog. And I will see you guys in my next month's vlog.